Hello, welcome to my FlossTube channel. My name is Sharice, but I go online by the name of Denkai from DenkaiDesigns.com. And welcome, welcome to the FlossTube channel. Um, this is no idea what FlossTube number it is. Mike, if you've any idea, put it at the top, please. Bing. Um, but this one is the one with 3,000 subscribers. So I'm like, oh yay, that's so nice. And there is a little bit of a giveaway at the end. Don't go straight to the end. You have to watch the video. <laughs> All right. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Um, right. It's been a while, actually, since my last one. I normally do them monthly. Or I've tra been trying to do them monthly at, like, the beginning of the month. Um, but I might have been a couple of weeks late. Okay, 18 days late. All right. Just get off my case. Get off my case. 18 days late. I did mean to do one. At the beginning of um, November, um, there was a retreat, cross-stitch retreat. It is um, not only but also, as in not only but also Mirabilia, because uh, it's with my Mirabilia group, um, Facebook group, um, my hubby who does my editing. Mike, if you can put the link below to the Facebook group for Mirabilia. Um, but they have a retreat, a Mirabilia retreat in April and a not only but also Mirabilia retreat in November. Anyway, that was a long introduction to that, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, so there is a retreat for that uh, and that was at the beginning the first of November and it kind of threw me because it's like do I do the floss tube before I go to the retreat do I do it after and I was aiming to get it done like just before the end of November but I, I ran out of time <laughs> uh, so yeah I had like loads of because I still need all minders there so I had like loads of like prep to do and stuff and I just didn't have time to like squeeze my little need uh, my little floss tube video in before so uh, and then afterwards it was just like a bomb went off in the craft room and I like it calm and clear and I've kind of cleaned if you look da -da, another view of the craft room you've got lots of colours and it's a nice view and not just like wall to wall of needle winder storage shelves so I, you see, I was thinking of you you'd have something nice to look at besides me obviously besides me <laughs> um, so yeah 18 days late but there is quite a bit of stitching. I have two, three, four, five, five whips. Okay, that's not that much to show you. <laughs> but I did do quite a lot of stitching, so we'll see. Let's get on with it, shall we? Anyway, I'm hoping that the next video, I'm going to stitch like, a, like a, a maniac, like a little demon stitcher, so you've still got good stuff at the beginning of November and you don't just look at me like, what the hell, she's done like five stitches. That is not a philosophy video thinking of you i don't know where to put that on there i should not put that on there otherwise my camera will fall down put that there this is in fact let me get a oh, hair in my face let me get the picture of what it will look like i always like to show you what it will look like um just so you don't look at it and think what is she stitching <laughs> that looks nothing like what it's supposed to look like so yeah this is what it is Pop that on there. This is what it's supposed to look like. This whip is by Stitch Rovia. Um, I think she originally called it Striking a Balance, and it was part of uh, the August 2018 uh, Cross Stitch Crazy magazine. I think it was Cross Stitch Crazy, and it's a freebie in there. Uh, but she's since since released it on her Etsy shop, um, so we'll have a link in below for that. I love it, absolutely love it. I did change, I don't know if you can see, but you probably can't see, the clouds, they're actually really pink. I know they look white there, but there's pink bits in. Anyway, I changed that. I'm like, I didn't have no pink clouds. Although now I've done it, I'm thinking, my clouds look boring. <laughs> Maybe I should have had pink clouds. Let me just, I'll put this on a little board and get it all stretched out so you can see it properly. Sensed, thinking of you. There we go. That is where I am. As you can see. The colours are right. I know you think, wow, that's orange. That is actually the the colour. I don't think the magazines, I think they've kind of lightened the magazine sometimes when they do pictures, they kind of lighten them. It is very orange. So, Woohoo! Orange! But as you can see, I have stitched a oh, floppy corner. Don't you just take floppy corners? <laughs> As you can see, or you probably can't see, that is two-tone. And there's like a top like little layer of 
what should have been white and then the top layer of cream but I've kind of reversed it and done like a bottom layer of kind of cream and a top layer of white I have stitched I don't I haven't stitched that one but I've stitched those two and if you can see from this the the grass the mountains are okay I like the mountains but the grass I don't I'm not really a fan of that kind of vomit green as I call it I know it's like a lime green I'm not a, a big fan of yoldy vomit green but I prefer like kind of like calming soothing ones like turquoise jade that kind of green rather than like the it's the sharp <laughs> so yeah that is that I think I will I, as I want to change the colors I do want to change the colors but obviously as I've said I've got like two weeks until the next one so I'm like trying to stitch really fast not really fast but try and get you know quite a bit of stitching done I'm gonna save the bit where I'm kind of converting because I, I want to actually think about what I'm doing obviously um so I will turn in uh, just move over and do a bit of the blue I think I think if I set myself a little target for this month I'm gonna stitch there just uh that bit there obviously not the and then I'll kind of leave from there down still so stitch like that bit so I've got that eye that'll be done so yeah I thought it was quite good progress it orange it's nice it's a lovely pattern I love it I love it it's awesome and I'm gonna take this off and fold it up because we all know that if I don't do that then I end up in trouble at the end with it being all right honking mess I don't know if you can say mess is honking but I just did so I love a honking mess if I don't okay one down going well going well He's like present in it. <gasps> What's in this one? Um, I'm trying to think how much I've done on this actually. <gasps> Naughty me, I've left the needle still there. It's a miracle I didn't freaking poke myself. Right, let me put this in on the board. Let's get this on the board. Put it at the top so we don't have floppy corners. Okay, and I'll take that needle out. Wow, that's a long piece of thread. I don't. Oh crap! I just dropped my needle. Oh, we love her. You know I'm gonna forget, don't you? I'm gonna do the floss tube video, and then I'll forget, and I'll stand up, and it'll stick me right in the toe. And I can't find my little picture. Man, I thought it was all organised. Obviously not. You'll have a pitch. I don't have a pitch to show you. You just have to ooh and ah and pretend you know what I'm talking about, all right? There we go. Ooh, ah, ooh. This is Bluebeard's Princess. Mike, can you put a picture of what Bluebeard's Princess <coughs> should look like, please? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man, sloppy corner. Get it there. This fabric is actually from Chromatic Alchemy. It is 32 count even weave and it's got flotsam and jetsam. And I love it. Absolutely love this fabric. But yes, this is Bluebeard's Princess. I think I've done some more of the skin. And as we all know, oh, the skin is one over one. Let's see if I can get you looking at that. I don't know if I showed you the seahorses. Did I do the seahorses this month or last month? I can't remember. Anyway, we have seahorses, yay! And we have some more of her belly done. Um, and I've gone, I've gone up, trying to connect the arm, the one arm that took me 12 hours. I might have said that already. 12 hours to do an arm. I hate one over one. I'm never doing it again. But I've kind of started, so I can't really stop. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, there we go. That is Bluebeard's Princess by Mirabilia. I love her, absolutely love her. But like I said, the one over one is just killing me. I'm just, oh, I really hate it. But I don't want to not do it now I've done it and I don't want to frog it because I'll probably rip the fabric and there's a lot of time and effort gone in and she's beautiful. Oh, sorry. So I'll, um, I will continue. I think I'm gonna have to space it out. So literally try and like force myself to do 
half an hour of whatever one a day or something like that you know just so just so I get a little bit of it done let me just get the paper chart I'm a paper chart kind of gal there we go wow I'm <laughs> I'll try not to drop you I'm sorry <laughs> so that is that Let's see what else we've got Oh, I made project bags. I didn't tell you that. I made some project bags this this month. Um, I made this one. It's like bluey greeny at the bottom, and then they're like stags, and then it's got like spells and charms and yeah. And then I, I even I'm trying to like improve my stitching and sewing skills as well. I even did like a little tag with a strap. So, yeah. I'm not very good at the, the straps yet. I did the tag with the D-ring. So I was like super impressed with myself with that. I did that before my retreat. I'm like, oh, get myself a new little bag. Make it. I love it. Love making stuff. This one. Oh, man, she's beautiful. Yes, another Mirabilia. This is a Renaissance Mermaid. I love that. Renaissance. And a fringe. Renaissance Mermaid. She's beautiful. Come on, woman, let's get you on the board. I'm in a floppy corner for you. Boom. 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 There we go. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Look at that face. All the little, the top bit is done, completely done. Um, obviously that line there is where the page was like one half and then I have to go on the next page for the next. So I kind of did like a little bit of the tail going down. That top bit is complete aside from back stitching and beads. So all the little holes are where it's going to have some nice black beads. And then she's got like, I don't know if you can see on there, but there's lots of like pictures and things around her, uh, pictures, lots of beads around her head and there's a like, BD jewellery things on her arm and stuff. Is it just me or is that arm really, really long? Like when I look, but then I suppose maybe not. It just feels long. When I was stitching it, I was like, oh my god, this arm's going on forever. But I suppose it's proportionate for her. I don't know. But anyway, she's done two over two skin because I learnt my lesson. Oh, oh I learnt my lesson. Um, so yeah. I do want to finish her. I do want to finish her. I've realised that I've got like eight widths, which you know doesn't seem that much, but it's getting to the point where I'm starting to get a bit stressed out. Like I kind of started a few new ones <laughs> without finishing ones, and now suddenly I'm like, oh my god, there's too many to rotate round. Um, and yeah, and there may have been another new start which I will share with you, but that was not my fault. To totally enabled yeah so <laughs> oh this one um oh i'm gonna knock everything down stay stay um i did this uh got my hay down and you'll look and you think wow that's more green yes it is more green okay this is i forgot oh it's geisha geisha from heaven and earth there we go Kathy Delaney C yeah Delaney C Delaney C Delaney C there we go you can see that that is what she's gonna look like and I don't know why but I didn't know it was a thing when I bought it but I got it with the background so it comes with all the green <laughs> anyway it's like freaking wow this is a lot of fabric yeah it's a lot of fabric okay wow another needle why am i keeping my needles in i've been very naughty i'll put that on there so i don't poke myself there you will recall last time i showed this we had like a bit of one, a bit of the other, and a thing down. So I've done like nearly another two row, probably two rows, over two pages, something like that. 
There you go. It's kind of just like detailed. Oh, the light's going funny. <laughs> so, that is that. Um, yeah, green. Not very exciting, but it's going to get there. It's going to get there. It is... <clears throat> Currently, it is this green that's kind of running over there and just kind of coming down there. I am hoping as I'm coming there to try and maybe just do like two pages and then at least we'll have something exciting to stitch. <laughs> You'll have something exciting to see because we'll have a bit of the head um, with all the decorations and stuff. So I am trying. I'm trying to get over there into the second page. But it's just so boring stitching green all the time. I don't know, I can see why people get it without the background. But then, I don't know. Do I do that? Do I just get the chart without the background? But then I have to try and find a nice hand dyed fabric to go with it. And oh, I've already started it. And yeah, a massive piece of Ada. Magic Guide Ada. Anyway, she's done. I think I'll leave her, I won't stitch her for next month because as I said we've got like two weeks and that's a lot of stitching to do in two weeks and I hate just don't, just won't cut it. I don't think I'll get a finish next month but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and crack on. It's very British isn't it? Crack on. This, you can stay over there mister, I don't want to drop you. I made another project bag. Oh my god, this is, feels so soft. This is like I don't I don't know where I got this fabric from. Um I think it was like a craft stall or something like that, and I think it was like scraps that someone was selling. Um because they weren't like fat quarters, they're maybe like eighths or something. I just got a couple of them. But they look like peacock feathers, but it just feels like velvet or suede or <clears throat> it feels lush. That's what it feels like. So anyway, I made it into a, a bag. In here is the new star, oh I shouldn't put it on there, never mind. In here is the new star which was not my fault. I blame Maggie Titchener as part of the the group, the Mirabilia retreat group, because she enabled me and I was like okay then we'll all have a start together. So myself, Maggie and her sister um, I had a start, a new start for the retreat. I put some photos in actually, um, husband Mike. Hubby Mike, can you put some photos in please? So we all had the same start of this chart. Let me try and show you that. This is Cathedral Woods Goddess by Nora Corbett. It's produced by Mirabilia, or part of their design. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get it more in focus. Anyway, she's gorgeous. Loads of like golds, loads of chronic beads. She's just it's beautiful. I love her. So anyway, we had a new start. So there's pictures for Maggie took pictures every night. So there's like Friday night pictures. Mike, if you can show those. And then obviously the Saturday night pictures. Mine's a bit smaller. I think Maggie and her sister Kat, so they're both doing theirs in 14 count Ada. I'm doing mine in 32 count even weave. I'll put it on the board for you. And then there's like uh, Saturday night um, catch up and then there's Sunday night catch up. So if you can put those photos up, Mike. Um, and since we've got it home, I have done a little bit of her. Just let me, again, leaving another needle, the needle minder. Never mind. I have done a little bit more on her, mainly because I was panicking, because I was a little bit, because obviously at the retreat I'd take my needle minders and sell them as part of like the, sh the shop that's there. Um, so obviously when I'm kind of selling things there, still stitches, I was like, I must catch up! I'm behind, I must catch up! Um, so anyway, I've done a bit more since the retreat, I've done a bit of a head. Yeah, so that is, the fabric's really nice. I've chosen this fabric is by Chromatic Alchemy and it is Erebus, 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 32 count even weave. And that is where I am, lots of gold. So I don't know if you can see the chronic very well. I'm trying to get it so you. Oh, there you go. You see it sparkly. Lots of sparkly. Like all of this is just like chronic. 
sparkly things in her hair. Yes, it is an arrow. It's really weird. I don't think it looks like an arrow. Oh yeah, it does look like an arrow on the thing. It goes with the picture anyway. So that's what she will look like. That is the finish. And it's kind of the fastest finish, but also uh, it's just nice to kind of stitch together and stuff. So, and it's really amazing because we've all started the same chart. When none of us are kind of... Um, substituting anything or deviating from any of the ch the charted flosses or anything but it just looks completely different depending on the fabric that it's on and stuff so yes I am hoping to to get that done and get it finished in the next month or two maybe the same as Renaissance Mermaid Renaissance Mermaid I want to get her finished as well yeah do you see what I mean by like new starts so yeah, I'm going to get her done. I'm nearly, well, I'm not nearly. I've not nearly anything. I've got loads to do. <laughs> but there we go. Never mind. So yeah, that was that. So, but we did all agree that we would have to finish the Cathedral Woods Goddess, that one, before the next retreat in April. Because in April... Let me try and find it. Where is it? There we go. In April, we've all agreed that we're going to do Baker's Wife by Nora Corbett. But that's part of my haul, so you go back in the haul pile. There we go. I'll show you that one later. Also, I did, some of you will recall that a month or two ago, maybe, that maybe September's, or, yeah, so maybe September's, um, I got this, this haul, part of like an Amazon voucher for birthday and I got it printed out in a book, let me just take the photo, I've used photocopy pages, I got the book, this thing is like 80 odd pages, <laughs> it is a, is a big mama, but it is so beautiful, I love it, I got this, I thought yes, this month, screw all of the whips that I've got, I'm gonna have a new start and I'll do my peacock. So anyway, I spent hours and hours and hours doing um gridding. I've got black fabric, look at all that. That's my beautiful gridding. Isn't that nice gridding? And then I started it. But it is I think I've got 20 count. Kind of feels like 20 count and this is how far i got with it because i don't know if you can see a 20 count just felt wrong i'm trying to get it to focus on the stitching not on my face um the stitches just felt like they weren't as nice and neat as they could be um uh, they felt like there was too much floss in there um for them to to lay nicely and You'll notice as well, one thing that really put me off, there's like grey bits at the top and that is, <clears throat> sorry, that is what is printed on white background. So those grey bits are trying to merge the actual peacock into the white of the background. So all around the, the actual peacock, there's like um, a layer of this kind of like grey merging. Um, and the chart looking at it it's not like really crisp it is one of those that you kind of have to stand away from a bit and then you get like to appreciate it but as you get closer you like the colours and things but the image becomes a bit fuzzier if that's the right word but still nice um, but yeah it's kind of got that merging of the colours and stuff and obviously on a black fabric which it would have looked beautiful on um, it's not kind of there and then I have to kind of think you know go through the chart and get all the bright bits out and stuff and I'm just not that good <laughs> to, sorry itchy nose I'm just not that good to kind of get out the exact bits that I, I want in and want out um so anyway I just thought right I'll do it on white so I'm gonna get some oh, I've got some uh white ada and i went down from 20 count to 18 count so i'm gonna do it on white ada uh, magic guide so i didn't have to spend 10 odd hours gridding it's beautiful gridding so i'm gonna keep that i'll just chop off the little bit that i've done so i will definitely keep that and reuse it uh yeah so i'm gonna start that 
because obviously I need another one. <laughs> so yeah, we'll start that uh, this month. Um, right, those are my whips. That is what I've been cracking on with this month. Um, as I said, we'll uh, we'll do a bit of haul. Um, this is my haul for the month. Just have this one, but I'll show you again. Baker's Wife by Nora Corbett. It's a set, um, one of two. Um, but this one is one that I'm going to be stitching in their April retreat. And uh, so we've got all got the chart. Um, and if you want to join, you're welcome to. If you come to the Mirabilia retreat in April um, and you want to join, you're welcome to. Just bring your kit, bring your chart, and we'll all start Friday afternoon, Saturday. Um, yeah. I am, I do have plans, super secret plans. To change a few bits on this and it's gonna look awesome so stay tuned in April <laughs> you got a while you can knit back it's okay <laughs> um, far Christmas there a bit of rustling but there we go oh wow that looks gorgeous on the camera not that it is in real life it just looks a little bit darker <laughs> this is Fl Flydus Sliders. Am I saying that wrong? I'm really sorry if I'm saying that one. By Sparklies. Um, even weave, because I really like stitching on even weave. That's the 32 count even weave. And I do have that earmarked for I think Fairy Moon. Um, another Mirabilia chart that I'm because I like to get all charts ready. So yep. This is I'll show you this one. Let me get it out. This is by Colour Cascade. This is Purple Haze. There you go. It's a bit purple. I did not realise it was that purple, which is why, I mean, it's like you see a picture and you're like, oh, yeah. But when they come, sometimes with hand dyed fabrics, they're like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I myself, I like when there's like light mottling um, or like a light variation in colours. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to hand dyed fabrics. I mean, I, I like them and enjoy stitching on them, but I don't like big differences in colour and I don't really like ones that are totally in your face. I mean, I, I am planning to do one of them that's totally in your face. Well, I say I'm planning. This is like next year, year after when I get around to it. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But normally I'm I like quite sedate colour changes and stuff. But that's just me. That's just me. Um, Zarina was there from Hawking Hobbies, and I bought this little holiday pin. It's like DMC and beads. So I thought that would be kind of really cute for Christmas. I'll put links to Sparklies and Zarina's shop in the description below um, so you can check them out and I think that is where I'm up to for haul and um, we've done whips next month um, as I said I'm going to do some of the peacock head hope to have the peacock head done um, started on Ada so we'll do that Renaissance Mermaid and Woodland Goddess I'm going to try and um, do a bit more of those because I do want to get them kind of finished and tied up. And I have to get Woodland finished by April before we start Baker's Wife. That was that was the deal. That was the rule. And I need to choose out some really good fabric and, and things for that. So I've got to do that. Um, I do have Gypsy Queen as well. So I'll try and do a little bit of her and try and do a bit of the Yin Yang one from Stitchrovia. Oh god, god there's like loads of things just do you see what I mean? There's like too many whips so I need to like cross them off and not start any new ones that's for sure except for the ones that I've already said obviously I'm not giving them up. Right <laughs> um we have thanks to you lovely people hit 3,000 subscribers on Denkai uh, YouTube so I'm like really thankful to all my viewers and subscribers that is lovely Thank you very much and share my appreciation and my love. My son told me this, he's doing this the other day. My love. <laughs> I made this. This is, well, it's, I think it's really neat. I've tried to be really neat with it. Project bag. Kind of orange. It's got like a um, flat bottom so you can kind of stand it a little bit. 
there we go and I am throwing in one of the in it the right way a little matching needle minder with the fabric back buttons that I do so yeah we'll have that and this has got a little pink stripey lining it's fully lined project bag and needle minder so that is for my 3000 giveaway so if you want to be in with a chance of winning the project bag and needle minder prize um, how do you enter well you can comment on the video below um, if you want to take part um, with a chance to, to win it it'll be done by a kind of like number draw I'll get my husband to draw it um, in the next video so you've got about two or three weeks um, till the next video so make sure you leave you watch the video and leave a comment there if you tell me your favorite chart or your favorite designer um, and then I'll know that you kind of want to enter and things um, and yeah we'll enter and random number it um, postage or post to wherever you are um, and yeah obviously if you're a subscriber that would be good because it is for subscribers <laughs> um, yeah that is that right joke because I always like to um, to end my videos with a joke I uh, have an app it's a proper dad's joke app if you don't have it and you love dad jokes you should definitely get it because it's just I was I just sit in the back of the car like looking at them chuckling to myself so <laughs> today's joke is um I wrote down in a second conjunctivitis.com now that's the site for sore eyes <laughs> Oh, I love it. There was loads of them. Loads of them. I was like laughing for ages. <laughs> um, right, there you go. That is it. Um, I look forward to reading all your comments about favourite designers. Um, if you want to enter. And thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.